What's up? What's up, good people? Let's speak on it. Only because it needs to be said. It's your boy Carcino here. I want to give it to you raw, uncut. And let's talk about this industry, man. Because this is crazy. We've had so many different engagements on this platform, meaning hip hop. There's so many different artists to listen to. Streaming is not popular. It hasn't popularized the music. It's oversaturated the music. You can't sit back and really vibe and get into some music because everything's available at your tips. Everything's in a playlist. So it's a gumbo pot mixed in with all of these other different songs. So everything becomes an individual song rather than a collective project. And it's hard to get people's attention to focus on the entire project. Rather, they want to know that hot single that they could stream over and over and repeatedly just go over those sales over and over again. So in this record in industry that we live in now, where physical copy sales are non-existent and it's all digital, oh boy, that opens the door for the circus. Yep. The circus is open. And because that circus is open. There's more problems. Listen, they tell you all day how rap is failing, right? Rap is dead. No one likes rap no more. Rap is crap. Rap's done. Rap, 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 rap. 24 hours a day, they're talking about hip hop. You know what's dead? Rock. Rock's dead. Y'all don't even know this. Hip hop surpassed rock years ago. Rock's dead. Rock music is dead. It died in the 2000s. And you hadn't even known. Most of the rock bands out now can't play music worth a worth a, a H H S H I T. Most of these people who are playing this music nowadays. It's a mess. It's a complete mess. And it hasn't gotten any better. Now many of you total behest to me there's no way I would ever know or care about the numbers. I used to have a friend back in the day who used to tell me the best rappers in the world and dude was was the greatest rapper cuz he went platinum. Yeah, but he went platinum. 
Now, yeah, he sold two million. How you gonna do that? He ain't even sell no records. His record didn't even go gold. When you asked him about which was the best rapper, hip hop. Back in 2018, surpassed rock music. By the midpoint of 2017, rock was way in the past. As far as commercials, fashion, everything. R&B slash hip hop because they threw it all in one big gumbo pot has surpassed rock music. It's the biggest genre in the United States of total consumption. Even sales. Drake was leading the charge. And they're trying to break everything down to his album sales, his combined dial, his catalog of downloads and streams. You had Kendrick Lamar coming behind him. You had Future. Even little Uzi Vert was burning it up. So now you're surrounded by this analogy about hip hop. Right? So the biggest consumption of music, which involves the Migos and the rise of the Migos during that time. Rest in peace, take off. Bad and Bougie came out. Cardi B came out. 2017 was huge. With crossover hip hop music. Do you know more people listen to hip hop are Caucasian? Caucasians listen to hip hop way more than black people do now. More Caucasian people go to concerts of hip hop artists. Most Caucasian people buy the merchandise. This has been their genre. The little Uzi Verts, the Juice Worlds, all of them it has catapulted because people that loved hip hop who knew the history of it don't really F with it like that anymore. They're still playing stuff from the 90s from their era. They don't really deal with too much of this new stuff. They hear it, they say it all sound the same and they move on. They leave that and they be like, oh, it's for the kids. That's they thing. I ain't with that. So that's what their focus is. Not these things that you guys focus on. This is their new reality. So, hip hop, why would they abanish hip hop? They've already melted it down to where they want it to be. Their vehicle to sell you a car, to sell you their clothes. To sell you their movies. They're going to sell you everything. Because you're the consumer. And hip hop is the biggest vehicle and gateway they have ever created. You can get people to do anything with hip hop. Because it doesn't belong to any group. It can blend into everything.
and we don't own it. They do. They put a barcode on hip hop. And now you got clowns like DJ Vlad and academics. They could come around and whore the business and do what they do to where they can talk to the artist any old kind of way. Say anything they want to an artist and it doesn't mean anything. But they would never say that to a label exec. They wouldn't dare. Because everything is digital. They live in a spamming tech algorithm world. So they could control what they do on their little platforms. I'm not trying to diss them. I'm saying they're bigger than me. But in, I'm saying to the whole worldwide game, everybody in the world who's in the hip hops from the streets would think that they're huge. They're not. They're minnows compared to the real people that's on YouTube doing these things. Right? Now, let's be even more blunt about the situation. Because I want to be very clear here. There are other people involved that just don't get it. You feel me? They just don't get it. And because they don't get it, they don't get it. You feel me? Well, they mix it all together now. Hip hop and most of the rock is all mixed together. Look at MGK. MGK is all mixed up with with uh, being punk rock and all of this hip hop, punk rock, and and now they're blending in using a hip hop artist to sell rock records. You gotta understand, streaming accounts for almost 60% of total audio consumption. That's like composing all the major audio consumption in the music industry for the very first time. It had never been that high. Now it's at like, I think it's closer almost to 70%. Now, it was 40% in 2016, 22% in 2015. Now you having 60 songs or whatever uh, doing about, I would say about 100 million streams. You had about less than 100 songs doing, I mean, less than 25, I think, that's doing 500 million streams in a year. Out of all music. And about 92% of them are hip-hop slash R&B records. Rock beats hip hop when it comes to album sales. Now, if people want to buy an album. That's where rock has because rock people go back and buy old rock records like the Beatles records. They'll re release an album. Vinyl LPs were up. 
you know, about 3% than it was last year. People are going to get an old vinyl record player and actually play records with that old vinyl. There's a lot of different um, analogies people have because they only see certain qualities when it comes to the music business. They see the crookedness of it. And that's all these people want to see because the music business is designed to be crooked. Sorry. I hate to be the one to break that to you and be the bearer of bad news, but the record business is designed where the artist is going to be screwed. Absolutely. I felt sorry for everyone who supported and came after anybody who has something to say about the business and met the boogie whip of those in charge. Now, me, I'm different. Just how different I am, I'll have to show you one day, but I'm different. And because I'm different, there's many different ways people look at things when it comes to me. All my friends in the music business, as I told you in the past, they're all doing different things. Most of them are in graphic design. Having nothing to do with music anymore. And I'm talking about guys who was senior producers. Guys who were engineers. These people got out of the business completely. And I remember trying to help a friend as he was trying to He was trying to get himself into the music business and wanted me to go through some contacts. I said, well, all right, I'll try to give him a call. And what I discovered was how the majority of them are just completely out of the business. They want no parts of what this is. They're saying basically there's no money in it. I know one producer that went from making $120,000 a year to making $80,000 a year, then dropped. To 64, then to 52.
His title was gone. Everything was gone. Make that make sense. These are the guys that know the record business. They know what it takes. They know what it consists of. But yet and still, they're victimized. Over and over again. So, with that being said, Where are we, what are we doing, people? The wrong people are in charge of this thing. So if hip hop is beating rock, it's the most popular genre in music, period. In all of music. That means country included. Hip hop is the number one genre in the world. Why are all the artists broke. Why is it only four or five artists really making money like that? Everybody else is living in debt. Make it make sense to me. So I don't have to keep asking that question. Why aren't there any more artist development at companies like Warner Brothers? or Atlantic Records. You have basically people that post blogs for a living as your marketing publicist. So if you post a tweet, you're qualified to, to market music? That's where we are in this digital age. Anybody could create a title and be anything. And these are the people that have the keys. They know nothing about the business. They knew nobody in the business. They just were real good kiss ass people. So because they knew how to kiss ass and ass kiss so much, these guys have gotten the keys. So now all the people at the top of the chain are ass kissers. You know who they're going to be looking out for? Other people who do just that. So pucker up, buttercup. That's how they're trying to make the game. And if you ain't playing ball, then you are part of the problem. So I hope you understand that they keep pushing our young artists and our young minded people to go into this death trap of hip hop because they're not going to give you anything to really get you started they give you a gold chain they give you a bracelet all on the loan and get you a car and they put you in a house and now you're going out getting guns and all these other things and acquiring it to give you the appeal that you're this gangster in the streets because you come from this block and now you're going from different states and shows and different towns and people want to see how tough you really are. So they want to pull up on you and they want to see if you're about everything you're saying on your records. And you escape this town, this town, you're doing good. Two years go by, three years go by. Fourth year, guess what? You're making all this success. You're getting some money coming in. You're still in debt. Not doing off record shows, but your shows is blowing up because you got a hit record. So now you can make your money doing your shows. Then at one of your shows, boom, some of your crew go down or you get hit. Oh, the record companies is just waiting for you to go so they can just continuously make money off the songs that you made that they didn't release.
That cycle is continuing. You're, you might have survived a rate where your survival rate was like at 68 to 78%. I just hope it reach people this video because I want everybody to hit the like button if you're new subscribe to the page they have been this whole week they have been trying to sabotage me based off the Kyrie Irving uh, situation they've been silencing me um, they've tried hacking my PC like two three times I've had to redo almost everything on this computer just to try to get videos out to y'all y'all don't even know how hard that's been so that's why it really hasn't been any live streams on Carcino for life that much. Like with StreamYard and stuff. Because they had spammed my whole thing up. So that's how we ended up in this situation we're in right now. But that's neither here nor there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get back to educating the people. And telling them what they need to know to move forward and keep giving you guys the real because y'all appreciate that and on the patreon this is why i didn't do the tina turner ike turner was that was really ike and lawrence fishburne we can get that done now because we seem to have things working see i want to get it to you the right way so if i gotta wait to get it hey we got nothing but time right so on the patreon that will be going up don't worry about it it's your boy carcino don't forget to follow at Kwame Brown Bus Life and everybody else around the world that's been into this game and they've been getting screwed over and they've been like Dom is live. Everybody else, man, uh, who've been rocking with me, staying real, appreciate it, love all the support. Uh, welcome to HDTV, subscribe to him too, and we're out.